Hello, everyone. Today we will talk about the facial makeup of Peking Opera. Usually, seeing a Peking Opera performance for the first time, a foreigner would wonder, "Why are faces of actors painted red, white, black, yellow, or green? Are they masks?" But the masks should be separated from the face, so facial makeups in Peking Opera are different from masks. The facial makeup in Peking Opera is a unique way to tell stories. There are thousands of facial makeups in Peking Opera, and different facial makeups have different meanings. At an early date, faces are painted mostly in red, white, and black. As plays increase in number, opera artists use more colors and lines to paint on the faces of characters. So, color patterns painted on the faces of characters are called lian pu. Or facial makeup. When the face of a character needs to be exaggerated, a facial makeup is used. A facial makeup points to the personality of a particular character type. Different colors in facial makeup have different meanings. For example, red means uprightness and loyalty. A black face represents a rough and forthright character. Blue means bravery and pride. White means treachery and cunning. So, facial makeups in Peking Opera can arouse the interest of the audience and add interest to Peking Opera performance. Jing. Usually, wear the facial makeups with complicated patterns, and different Jing characters wear different facial makeups. But Chou was the earliest character in Peking Opera to wear facial makeup. Compared with Jing, Chou usually wears a very simple facial makeup with a white patch on the face. But the Chou usually can make a greater impression on the audience than the Jing character, and the audience like their humor and jokes very much. With the development of Peking Opera, there have been established rules on how to paint a facial makeup and what a facial makeup represents. The meaning of facial makeup reveals Chinese people's evaluation on historical figures. For example, Cao Cao, a Han Dynasty prime minister, had a white face. It tells us that he was treacherous and cunning. Guan Yu, a general of the Three Kingdoms period, had a red face. It implies that he was a loyal person, and Zhang Fei, also a general of the Three Kingdoms period, had a facial makeup in the shape of a butterfly. This shape of butterfly is a masterpiece, perfectly combining personality and artistic design. Judge Bao had a black face. So he was impartial and incorruptible as a judge. A distorted face, drawn with asymmetrical lines, means a villain or someone whose face had been wounded. Then, we will talk about four artistic means of Peking Opera. They are singing, speaking, acting, and fighting. Which is the combination of song and choreography. Each action by the performer is highly symbolic. Feeling and ideas 
are often expressed through these symbolic motions. Then, how to appreciate Peking Opera? We should know how to appreciate the beauty of the virtual world. A virtual world means a striking feature of Peking Opera. It contains two aspects. The first one is about the virtual movements. The other one refers to the virtual settings. Virtual movement means imitating actions on stage. For example, riding a horse. Of course, the actor cannot ride a real horse on stage. He can only hold a whip and imitate the action on stage by standing on the stage, turning around, wielding the whip, and pulling the reins. The other one is the virtual settings. Usually, the settings on the stage is very simple. For example, there are only a table and two chairs. The table, besides functioning as a table, can also symbolize a bed when actor acts asleep by sitting at it with one hand upon it, propping up his head. On some other occasions, this table can symbolize a city gate tower. The actor can stand on the table and look into the distance. This beauty of a virtual world has provided limitless room for the performers. In return, performers provide the audience with a world of images full of wit. In this session, we have discussed the Peking Opera. Peking Opera is a combination of different operas as well as different characters. And the facial makeup of Peking Opera is a combination of colors and lines. The four artistic means of Peking Opera are the combination of skills. So, Peking Opera is art of combination. This is the end of this session. Thank you for your attention.